had a really good week and hey to everyone that is new as well. So this week what we're going to be doing is what is your person's perception or impression of you. Now it's kind of perception, we're going to be looking at it on a 3D level but we're also going to be looking at it on a sensory level. So what is their spiritual perception of you as well as their normal perception, their impression of you. So impression and perception is what we're doing this week. Just a couple of things before we get going. Um, I am fully booked now up until Christmas. I'm going to have some time off because I haven't seen my family pretty much all year because England's been on and off of lockdown. So I am now taking bookings from the start of January. So if you want to book in, I uh, would advise that you book in now before the wait list gets really big in January. I'm still going to be doing email readings whilst I am away because I can still do that for you. I'm just going to step away from video readings for a little while. Okay, so that's the news basically. Deck number one and deck number two, pick your deck. Go to the deck that you are most drawn to and as you're drawn to that deck, think of your person. We're going for very earthly decks today. Um, now, those of you that don't know, there is a solar eclipse on Monday. Big, big day for everyone. Um, it's also a new moon. So the solar eclipse talks about us letting things go and the new moon talks about bringing things in. It's a real mix-up of energies going on on Monday. Be careful as you ride the wave of it all if you want to do some release work and bringing in work Monday is a good day to do it we'd have a look at what time the eclipse is happening in your local area and try and focus on doing it around that time frame okay just another little heads up going on there um also on the 21st of December we have the grand conjunction so this is a massive day for manifesting as well Okay, get number one, get number two, let's do this. Number one, what is your person's perception of you? So if you think about your person for me, as I go into your energy and go into all your people's energy, as you know, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. So a bit like working out the average of math at school, those of you that did that, um, all your energies, what's the mutual energy between you all? Okay. So let's do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes of deck number one and the most probable outcome. Spirit are saying, Spirit are saying the most probable outcomes. We're getting outcomes with this as well. So what is their person's perception or impression of them? Okay, let's go. So my guide is saying nine cards. What is their person's perception of them? Or their impression. Oh, my nose is tickling. I lit some really strong incense and it's made my nose tickle and my eyes run. So if I'm a bit sniffly, just bear with me. Okay, I'm just hearing really clearly through my right ear the words treasure me, which is really interesting. Um, so your person is feeling this need and want for being treasured from you, being treasured from the connection with you. They didn't give us a song. I was wondering if they were going to give us a song, but they're just saying the words treasure me. Um, and with that, we've just had, uh, I just had a flashback memory to being in Disneyland and being on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, Disneyland in Paris. I've never been to America, you know. Um, Disneyland Paris, the ride over there in the Pirates of the Caribbean, it's like it's this kind of quest for hidden treasure between you both. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So your person's perception of you, I'm going to take this one as well because it's just sitting at the top. There is a lot of fear-based energy going on around your person. So they have this overwhelming feeling towards you, this overwhelming pull, this very strong energetic pull towards you. That's the first thing. So on a spiritual perception, on a more kind of clear sentiments, clairvoyance, clear audience, spiritual connection, they feel this massive, massive pull towards you. Definitely a soul connection happening here. And even if your person isn't tapped in, tuned in or turned on to the ways of the world, they still can feel this very energetic pull towards you. Almost a bit like an addiction. They have this very strong need to reach out to you if you go silent or if you're not silent, they're just feeling this very strong pull and connection towards you. So on a spiritual perception of the connection between the two of you, 
it is very advanced, it is very deep and it is very spiritual. It's likely that you and your person have had past lives together. If you need a past life reading, just give me a shout. Um, but there could be links over there with past life and karma, etc., etc. So we have this fear-based energy, which really kind of comes over the top of you and your person. Um, this is something that has gone through lifetimes after lifetimes after lifetimes. And there is a karmic energy that comes with it. Not saying that you and your person are karmics in inverted brackets, but there is some karma that comes with you both. Um, and again, something that has preceded time, Spirit is saying, so lots of, probably lots of past lives for the majority of you. So on an energetic level, very strong pull towards you, very strong kind of addiction energy, very strong devil card energy. You know, the lust, the passion, the addiction, um, sometimes the toxicity, codependency that comes with it all. But that is the first thing that we need to talk through. Okay, so very strong connection happening here. With that being said, your person sees you in a very positive light, in a very strong light. They feel that you overall are a little bit insecure within yourself. Sometimes your insecurities really do rise up to the surface. We have this helix energy kind of going on here as well, which is, as I just said, um, as I, I talk about in readings a lot, your energy is wavering in and out of each other's lives. This is like the, the twin flame helix, so to speak. And with the past life kind of energy coming over here, your energies are ingrained into your DNA, okay? So very strong soul connection, soul family, twin flames, um, yada, yada, yada. Now, even if your person doesn't believe in all of that, it doesn't mean that they don't feel it, okay? So they really do feel that connection between the two of you. And that is the first thing that we need to talk about with their perception. Then we move on, okay? We move on and there is this kind of, they see you as a little bit insecure on occasions. They know that you want this whole family, this whole big family picture, and um, that perhaps you guys can have this beautiful family picture, that anywhere that all these kind of burdens and heaviness has been around you guys, that now it is clearing and there is a light coming through. I just saw clouds and then... Um the light coming through the clouds, they can see that you kind of light up their world. Very strong energy here of lighting up their world, but they do feel your insecurities. They do feel that you can sometimes be a little bit vulnerable. Okay, so there's a sense of vulnerability coming forward in how what their impression is of you. So it's a light in strong times, but also perhaps that you can sometimes be a bit vulnerable. You tend to wear your heart on your chest a lot of the time. Um, and your person is aware of that. They are fully aware of your emotions for them. You wear your heart on your sleeve, um, heart on your chest, heart on your sleeve. You're very open about your emotions towards your person. And you might sometimes feel that your person is quite closed off to that. Spirit is saying, you guys have always, you know, we, we get born into this world, we live separate lives. And when we merge with that right person, sometimes our beliefs and, and the things that have been thrown on us since we were children are still very much ingrained in our mind. So as you guys can be very open about your connection with your person, your person can sometimes be quite closed off to it, okay? So they see you in this kind of very strong, um, empathic energy, very strong emotional energy that you have for them. Um, but they know that there are insecurities that come from that. And they know that they don't help your insecurities by not talking to you about their emotions. So sometimes they can feel a little bit trapped by the situation, a little bit stuck by it. Um, I just got a song, I will try to fix you. I can't remember who sang that. I will try to fix you. Um, they can see that this connection between the two of you is very strong, it's very deep, it's very intense. And um, sometimes they don't know how to handle it. And sometimes they can probably wander off, sail into the sunset and vanish. But then the likelihood is the majority of time they will keep coming back. Again, going back to this helix energy wavering in and out. So they see you in this very strong heart-centered energy, very strong love-based energy. Um, you're, they see you as a little bit vulnerable, a little bit insecure, but at the same time, they see that there is a light here and that you guys can work through this and that you can have a future together. There's a little bit of sexual energy coming forward over here as well. So seeing you in quite a sexy, sassy, powerful, um, dominating energy, spirit are saying, when it comes to uh, the sexual side of things, the chemistry between you both. Um, 
the chemistry that you guys share is chemistry and like they have shared with any other person and again this is why at the very start with this energy kind of coming up here this addiction energy coming forward that pull can get very very strong between you both because they the chemistry is through the roof you know it's insane um never had it with anyone else will never have it with anyone else again and that provides them with a great deal of um love and cherishing of you spirit is saying so sexual energy chemistry really really strong sometimes your person can be a little bit immature when it comes to this because they don't know how to always handle your emotions which is the vulnerability side of things they're not very good when people around them are struggling with situations and it's not just you it's friends it's family when someone is going through a difficult time or going through the shit your person often doesn't know what to say to them and the reason for that is because when they were younger they were always having to be quite a very strong individual you know being strong for other people potentially families breaking up here when they were kids they had to be strong for other people so when situations occur and situations rear their head your person often doesn't know how to handle it doesn't know how to handle the emotions of it and this is when they can run this is when they kind of distance themselves and, whoop, and step backwards from situations and connections but we do have a sexual energy coming forward. We do have a passionate energy. We do have your person sometimes being a little bit immature, but they do, you do provide them with a great happiness. The other side of things over here is that they do feel that you inspire them to be a better person which is really nice, that's really cool, that you um, give them that kind of lust for life. Up until the point that they met you, without this kind of really strong connection, up until the point that they met you, they felt that they were existing rather than living. And you've really shown them that lust for life now, and it's giving them that passionate energy to move themselves forward in their own life and live rather than exist. There's been a big shift in their energy, a big shift in their frequency. Now, your person can still be a little bit stubborn. We have the emperor coming up here, the adventurer, the um, strong masculine energy. And remember, we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel. But in tarot, in Lenormand, there's always a masculine and a feminine. So we have this very strong kind of masculine energy coming forward with this connection. Uh, the balance of this is spirit are saying that they see you in a very feminine energy again never sexually orientated gender specific but with the connection between the two of you they see that you can be their divine counterpart so to speak okay so they know that the connection is really deep you are you are the empress they are the emperor and there is a bond that holds the two of you together and it's a bond again that goes through lifetimes and lifetimes and they really do feel that the other side of things kind of coming up here, when we're kind of we're jumping a little bit backwards and forwards, but we're coming back to this insecurity. Um, they know that perhaps you watch them on social media. Now, not everyone has got social media. I am fully aware of that. But as your mutual energy, the social media, internet vibe is coming forward. So it might not even be social media. It could be WhatsApp. There is a, an internet-based connection happening between you both as well. Potentially this year with COVID and everything that's been happening there the internet connection could be to do with communication that has happened between you both so this could be the the thing that is holding you together but it could also be the thing that is tearing you apart depending on how you are holding these energies so if you're stalking them like crazy and seeing things you don't like it's tearing apart if it is the thing that is connecting you two together that is where the bond is at okay really strong energy their perception of you overall is positive um Again, something that precedes lifetimes, a little bit vulnerable, a little bit insecure, but also being a ray of light to them. This beautiful Ten of Cups card here, seeing the light through the shadows, um, sexual energy, chemistry coming up, the internet either holding you together or pulling you apart a little bit. Now, they're still quite stubborn, um, but you have got this energy holding the two of you together, waving in and out of one another's lives. So let me just do your Lenoma. I feel like we need to do Lenoma today. So let's just see what the future is of you two. What is the future? Oh, future of deck number one's energy. Where is them and their person going? God, that incense is so strong. What is the future of deck number one's energy? So at the moment, potentially feeling a little bit burdened by the connection, burdened by the situation, burdened by your emotions for your person and because you're feeling like they're, you know, acting in a weird way. 
uh, that they've perhaps floated away from their emotions a little bit and it's caused a few blocks with you guys the overall outcome there is communication coming in if you guys are not talking communication is coming forward um, and that communication is going to be much more stable and that stability is going to be leading to communication about love okay stability communication uh, so at the moment even though it could be a little bit difficult a little bit burdened you're a little bit unsure about what's actually happening as we move forward into the new year we have communication with more stability and that stability leads to some form of commitment between you both so they are very interested in you they do fancy the pants off you there is a really sexual energy here there is a very strong spiritual connection between the two of you future heading towards a level of commitment that you want that you desire um still difficult still stubborn um but they see you in this very light energy, stuff that would really help you guys doing some kind of karmic clearing. So again, if you need me to do a past life reading, a karmic clearing, all the details are on the website. You can also do it on YouTube as well. Go and have a YouTube of how to clear karmic energy with you and your person. Really good stuff. Really good stuff. Um, yeah, you know, the insecurity and the vulnerability that comes with you is nothing to be ashamed of. This is part of who you are you know, um, stuff that's happened in your past always makes you who you are today. So you don't need to be afraid of that. And you don't need to be afraid of people seeing that vulnerability within you as well. Because vulnerability is not a weakness. No matter what society has told you, vulnerability is not a weakness. In fact, it gives you strength, spirits say. Um, so don't fret about if you're worrying that they might think you're a bit vulnerable, a bit insecure. Just be aware you know be aware of it all person's emotions are there you know the fancy the pants off off you fancy the pants off you okay guys and that is deck number one if you need me give me a shout as i said i'm gonna i'm i'm here until the 23rd 24th turning out of office on i think over Christmas, I will still be doing email readings though. So even if my out of office flags back at you and says, oh, she's not here, I will still be getting your emails. I will still be doing email readings. Um, the turnaround on them is 24 to 48 hours. Uh, video readings are fully booked now for Christmas, but I will be back on fire in January. So if you want to book in for January, would advise you to do it now before the wait list gets rather large. Okay, guys, I will speak to you soon. Uh, love you tons. Goddess blessings from um, my house to your house. I nearly said it in Portuguese. Uh, from my house to your house. You guys take care and I will speak to you soon. Oh, and also all those countries that are going into lockdown. I had a message from my friend in Canada this morning saying that they are now going into lockdown as well. England are coming out of it. Um, so everyone just remember to stay safe. Okay, guys. Love you lots. Ciao. Okay guys, deck number two. Now if you haven't seen these, these are like the most adorable deck in the world. Uh, it's the uh, the three tea, trees, tarot, oak, ash and thorn, as you all know. Those are sacred trees when it comes back to the old druid days, back to my ancestry. Um, the oak, the ash and the thorn, the sacred trees. So it's a beautiful deck to be using for today's reading. And that the animals on it are just totally adorable. So think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought process? I've just felt someone's anxiety. Oh, good old class sentiments. Picking up on your feelings and your emotions. Okay, all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes. And let's see the most probable outcome for deck number two. So as always, strongest mutual energy between you all. Okay, so we are doing a nine card spread today because that is what spirit are telling us to do. <laughs> Can I have nine cards, please, for what is their person's impression and perception of deck number two i have to write down the titles when i'm in spirit energy i am not in an earthly energy at all my brain waves uh, switch from alpha beta to delta theta which is how i read and this is where the clear audience comes in and um, so sometimes i have to write down what the titles are so i remember them two What is that person's perception of them? What is that person's perception through their impression? Four, five. 
Okay, Spirit is saying really clearly with this that they're seeing you as a bit of a wounded healer. So they know that you've been through some very difficult times in your life and that you've channeled that energy to help and guide other people, which is lovely. Lovely. Two more. Eight. Nine. Now, it's really interesting. If we look at these two cards that kind of came out on the bottom row, we have the mouse and we have the fox. And both of these energies are looking towards one another. You guys are coming forward as a mouse. Your person is coming forward as the fox. I love foxes. Um, I live in a city, but they, we, are, we have so many foxes here. And uh, me and my partner, we saw a white fox running over the road the other day. It was amazing. I've never seen a white fox in my life. Anyway, side note. So you and your person are looking towards one another. You can see each other. You can see each other quite clearly. But at the same time, your person often hides away from this connection. They shy away from it. And you as well, as, as the mouse coming forward, mice, mice can be quite shy too. So there's a kind of shyness coming forward with this. That your person hasn't really expressed their feelings or their emotions towards you because they're a little bit nervous about how to say it and what will happen. And you're exactly the same. So we have this mirroring energy here. Uh, Spirit is saying same sea different boats so you are on the same emotions the same water level the same sea or sea and water always stands for emotions you are on the same emotions as one another but you're sitting on your different boats both of you are a little bit unsure of where this connection is going and this shyness that is coming forward your person, um, you know, with this wounded healer energy kind of coming back to that at the start, your person knows that you have been through a lot, that you've had some very difficult times, potentially difficult times with them as well, and that you have been conflicted with your opinions, your thoughts and your emotions towards them. They're seeing you in a little bit of a lonely standpoint, but at the same time, they know that you've worked really hard to be the person that you are today. And there is a level of respect that comes from them with that. You might not feel it, you might not sense it, you might not even know it, but your person has got this level of respect for you for everything that you have been through and how you still come out to be a beautiful person that wants to help other people. So there is a respect coming forward here, very strong respect for you um, that they have. There's a conflicting energy around you as well. Um, again, this could be conflicting energy with them, conflicting energy with you. They are weighing up their heart and their head with regard to the connection. Um, most of the time, your person lets the air energy rule, so they let their head rule the connection rather than their emotions, rather than their heart. But we do know, going back to these very initial cards at the very start, that your emotions are here for you both. Now, it's really interesting. I just noticed we have another five, that we have three fives coming up. Five, five, five. Symbolism of changes. Five, five, five always stands for changes that are happening in your life. And these changes start to be happening now. Now, fives and tarot are never really good cards. They're more complicated, they're more difficult, and they are right in the center of the journey. But what this does symbolise is that the changes are happening within this connection. So you might be going through a bit of a difficult time with your person. You might not really be sure where you stand with them because you guys aren't communicating about it. Um, there is this challenge that is happening here. So your person can see this relationship um, as a, sometimes a little bit of a challenge between you both that, you know, even though you want the same things on the same sea, those different boats, again, causing these challenges that happen between you both. They can see you as... <laughs> <laughs> sorry spirit is saying they can see you as quite stubborn they can see you as um sometimes the energy between you both does get conflicted hurricane tornado meeting in the middle creating want for a better word a catastrophe on occasions but you guys always come back to one another you always end up looking back towards one another but this is where the shyness comes from it comes from these difficult times that you guys have been through where your person hasn't potentially expressed their emotions towards you Okay, so energetically, again, there is a pull towards you. Um, they fit, know that you're quite tired of this situation as well. Spirit is saying they know that you are quite so cute. They know that you're feeling quite tired of this situation, that every time you guys feeling like you're taking three steps forward, you're also taking two steps backward. Um, and your person isn't really sure what to do over the connection with you guys other than the fact that they do have these emotions for you and they do have these feelings for you. We have the card of justice coming up here. Um, 
conf conflicting energy, karmic energy. Um, potentially some of you guys have, you know, there's been legal things happening with your person. That's not all of you. There's a couple of people there, spirit are bringing in uh, legal issues, perhaps with someone from their past, that karmic energy coming up over here. Again, not all of you, very, very few of you, um, but it is coming into my ear, so I need to tell you. So we have this kind of karmic energy coming up. Your person is once bitten, twice shy. So again, when it comes to their impression of you and their emotions for you, um, they're not very good at expressing those feelings for you or telling you how how they want this to unfill and you know you might feel that sometimes they're asleep to the connection that they're not really that interested they are interested it's just that there's a lot of conflicting energy around them at this moment we have the queen of swords the knight of swords um emergency action coming up right here you guys are standing in your power and um, so they're seeing you in quite a strong position and um, they actually feel when we're talking about impressions, they actually feel that you are a stronger person than them because you've been through your difficult times and you've come out the other end, whereas they are still going through their difficult times and they are really conflicted, yeah, conflicted in their fighting of it. They don't know how to deal with this. So with their impression of you, I let this incense and it's going right up my nose. With this impression of you, there are emotions, there are feelings, they're seeing you in a strong standpoint. We've got this kind of karmic energy coming around you both. We've got that you've got the same emotions for one another, but your person shies away from talking about it. Um, it might come over to you that they don't really care that much over the situation, but they do. Um, they do care about you. They do care about the situation with you. It's just that they've, it's like they've got a lot on their plate at the moment. They're going through some very difficult times. Um, and they're feeling that you guys have gone through your difficult times and you're kind of coming out the other end, whereas they are really starting to go through it. And with these difficult times that they are going through, there is going to be a need to be reaching out towards you, Spirit are saying. So if you're not in contact, you will hear from them. Um, they're very lonely. They're very sad. They're very conflicted. Um, and also with the connection with you, they're feeling like they don't deserve you as well. That's coming forward. So the impression and their perception over here is that they do not deserve you. So they think that you deserve better than them because perhaps they haven't treated you right or, you know, that there's this karmic energy around you both. You have got these strong cards coming forward here, very strong lines of communication opening up between you both. Um, but we also have these cards of loneliness, of heaviness, of sadness. So how your person sees you, they see you as strong-willed. They see you in a stronger energy than they are. They've seen that you've gone through a difficult time and now you're coming out of it. They see that their actions have caused this kind of conflicting energy within you. Remember, every action has a reaction and therefore every reaction has an action. And it's this kind of loop that you guys are stuck in. They've been hurt in the past, so they're a little bit on edge about how to handle this situation. And they haven't been communicating their emotions about you. Um, they kind of let this situation just roll rather than going and fighting for it, which really annoys you guys. But from their side of things, they don't want to put themselves in a difficult position where they're going to end up getting hurt again. So if they took these walls down and they took these barriers down, what would be left would be the essence of purity, spirit are saying. It would be the innocence, the purity of your relationship. But because your person has built these walls up really, really high, it's hard for you to infiltrate them. So perception wise, they haven't allowed their emotions to properly come up to the surface. And if they did, they're gonna find this situation very heavy, very sad. Um, but at the moment, they're just kind of hiding away from it. I'm gonna do your future cards with Alain Omar in a second. <laughs> With regard to you, they see you as strong, they see you as just secure, they see you as stable, and they don't have that. They don't have that. But there is these emotions here. There are emotions here. They are just hiding them very, very deeply, very deeply hidden under the surface. There are changes coming up in this connection with you, very strong changes. Um, and through these changes, your person is going to have this loneliness. And when this loneliness really hits them, it's going to really make them realise this connection and what they want from it and how they're going to open up to you about those emotions and about those feelings. But for now, it's like it's at this standstill. OK, so let's have a look at your future energies. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at your future energies. 
Can you tell me deck number two and their people? What's the most probable outcome for deck number two? Okay, so potentially being conflict, arguments, things like that happening around you both. Also a strong sexual energy. That's my dog. Um, you're going to have some news from them. There are still blocks in the way, so you're going to hear from them, but there are potentially blocks coming up with regard to their emotions for you. Um, they are going to, as time progresses, they're going to be revealing their, what they want from this what they want from this connection they're going to be revealing to you what they want from the connection at the moment we do have this blocks we have this kind of conflicting energy um and there's news of arguments so you guys potentially are going to be having arguments if it's not arguments it's going to be a sexual energy so you might be having a bit of fun with your person um communication and stepping forward about the blocks which is what we've just spoke about here but those blocks are to do with this relationship moving forward how to go about it and it looks like you are going to be they will open up to you about these emotions so it's a little bit stagnant it's a little bit sticky it's a little bit backwards and forwards um but your person does have these emotions for you and they would like to express them towards you they just don't really know how um at this moment in time they're frightened what they feel about you what their impression is of you um very strong willed very determined very passionate people you know, you're all very passionate people, that you stand up for your own beliefs, you stand up for your tribe, spirit of saying, um, and it scares them because they don't know how to handle it. They don't know how to handle someone that is that established in their own skin because they're not. But this is where this growth comes from. It. There's a very strong feeling of growth in deck number two with you guys watching and with your person. Their emotions for you are there very deep but they are there um, and these changes, these 555s will create these changes of communicating their emotions towards you, which is what you want, which is what you want. Don't feel that they're not interested in you. Don't feel that they don't give a shit about you. That is not true. They do, um, but they just bury it very deeply because of stuff that's happened in their past and they're scared of getting hurt again. Um, if we, Again, if we took those those masks off your person has this very pure essence of love for you but they're just not acting on it right now as time progresses as Lenoma said Lenoma sexy word as the Lenoma says there is going to be a merging of your energies as communication steps forward about their feelings for you and that is deck number two Okay, angels, as I said uh, at the end of deck number one, I am booked up now over Christmas. I am taking bookings for January. I am still doing email readings over Christmas with the turnaround being 24 to 48 hours. Just drop me a message if you need me. Um, have a wonderful week. Uh, again, if you didn't watch the start of the video, Monday is really important for the eclipse and the new moon. Really get some stuff going for you on that. That's a really good time for release and bringing in. Um, look after yourself, my angels. I will speak to you soon. Have a phenomenal week and stay safe. Lots of love. Ciao.